Hey guys, so I was requested by Dinah to do an updated, sorry, an updated skincare routine. So, uh, to be honest guys, I've been really lazy about my skincare. Um, I do, like, I do do my skincare, uh, but it's normally like in the shower time. Um, and then if I don't take a shower that day, then I'm really lazy about it and I only like use one thing. But uh, I'll just get more into that into the video, but let's go ahead and get started. The first product that I want to talk about is, um, and I know that she deals with oily skin, so, because we were talking, and um, so I wanted to recommend this product for you because it really actually helped me because I used to have a lot of greasy, you know, the greasy, oily skin, um, and I use the Clean and Clear Advantage Oil Absorbing Treatment as well as the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing face wash. So I'm going to link both of those down for you, both. I'm going to link both of these down below for you. I don't have the face wash to show you, but it basically looks like the same thing. It's just a bigger container. It's a face wash and you just apply it to where you have a lot of oil oiliness because uh, I used to have it really bad on my T-zone, but uh, since using this product, it's gone away and I don't really get oily throughout the day, which is awesome. So definitely give this a go. It's really inexpensive and you can get it at the drugstore. So like I said, I will link it down below for you so you can kind of read more about it and just, you know, find out what it looks like um, a little bit better. But I definitely recommend it if you do have oily skin and if you want to get rid of troublesome areas because I really don't have any super oily spots anymore on my face, which used to be my entire T-zone and it's completely gone because of this product so I love this um, but as far as my skincare routine goes by the way applying this you just apply it you can apply it twice a day you can apply it once a day just to where you need it basically that's all you do um, and I don't really use it as often anymore because I don't particularly need it as much because it really does help you but what I've been doing in the shower is I've been using I've got three little items here and one of them I've talked about before and I'm also going to mention another um, that I use this Olay professionals see if it'll show up, brush and it's basically kind of like a Clarisonic but it's not exactly like a Clarisonic because it's just got like the one head and all of that but it does you turn it on and it will move in a circular motion and there are two different speeds and it really just helps to suds up your product and help get rid of your rough skin and it's really helped me a lot so I really love this whole system and there's also an Olay Pro X exfoliating product that I really recommend as well, but I'm out of it currently, so I can't show it to you, but it was in my last empties video, and I really need to repurchase it again, but I just love the whole system that you can get, so I definitely recommend this if you have rough skin and um, all of that, so love that, and then the things that I'm using in the wash, which one of these is really going to be weird to you guys, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the uh, Let the Good Times Roll Facial Cleanser by Lush, mine is in the shower, so it the thing ruined but this smells amazing this smells so good I believe they said it smells like their popcorn items because they have like a popcorn lip grub lip scrub and stuff it smells really really good and this is the consistency um, mine kind of has some water in there but it's actually a little bit drier but when you get water in here you can get it in here or you can just scoop out like the more clay type thing and then put water in it becomes like a liquidy type of substance but mine accidentally got water in here so yeah but um it's just a exfoliant to help again get rid of the dryness on your skin now sometimes i like this and sometimes i don't because if i have drier areas um it really dries out the dry areas of my cheeks but for my oily areas this is amazing so um i'm not sure if they still have this scent but i know that they have facial cleansers all the time so i'll try to find one that's similar if they don't have this exact scent because i know this came out like last year around this time but it's it's still working because they they always have expiration dates on here it's like you have to use it by april 18th of 2013 and it's november and i'm still using it and nothing's it's not it doesn't smell disgusting or anything like that so i think it's like a best used by type of thing for food you know but it's, you know it's still fine so anyways i really recommend this but only if you have more oily skin just because it really does dry out my dry cheeks so yeah and the next thing that I use, which is actually the weird product that I use in the shower, it's by Lab Series, which is skincare for men. I know, I know. What are you thinking, Emily? And why do you have this? I actually, my brother got this. He used to work at a 
an Ulta store and it's still wet um, but they were giving these to the guys that worked there and he never used his so I was like what the heck I'm just gonna use it try it out whatever it's a multi-action face wash fragrance free and it's clean on it I'm not sure if that matters but I feel like I have rough skin so I thought maybe this would help my rough skin and I'm not sure if it's helping out my rough skin because it is an exfoliant type of thing it's here I'm gonna I mean, it kind of has some beads in here, but not really. Um, and it's really like a thick consistency. There are like really fine beads in here. And it smells minty and it's nice and cooling. So here it is. Just like that. And it makes your skin really, really soft once you wash, wash it off. So I really like it um, on my dry cheeks. Um, so I really like it for dry skin. Um... Okay. Uh, I really like it for dry skin if you have dry skin and probably even for oily as well but it's just really nice and hydrating now I know it's for men and we're like oh, can we really use that yeah you can use it definitely because I liked the uh, Jack Black facial moisturizer and that's for men as well I loved it, it was amazing but um, yeah so definitely recommend this actually for you guys, for you girls, because it really hydrates our skin really awesomely. So I don't know, give it a try if you want to hydrate your skin a little bit more. So yeah, and then what I do every morning and sometimes every single night, I don't, I sometimes forget because I'm just so tired, but I use this Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture Combination Skin Moisturizer. Don't really recommend this one. It's nice and lightweight and it doesn't clog your pores or anything like that, but I just feel like, I don't know, it, it's not enough moisture for me. Um, for for my cheeks it's not enough moisture but it's just the right amount of moisture on my t-zone which is it's still kind of oily it's kind of normal at this point um, so I like it for that for normal skin but really for dry skin it's not enough moisture I don't think so I still like my Aveeno Naturals Positively Radiant um, moisturizer but this is that one um, so yeah let me see the next thing is what I do at night, um, if I haven't taken a shower, um, is I take these Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And you get a pack of 40, and I believe these are supposed to be like the Neutrogena ones. Yeah, compared to Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And I actually do like these. Now, if you have sensitive um, eyes or anything like that, uh, then maybe not because of the fragrance. Um, well, it's not like a strong fragrance or anything, but like I've noticed that sometimes it can irritates my eyes if I'm having like a sensitive eye day so that's the only thing if you have sensitive eyes all the time I probably wouldn't recommend these because of the fragrance that it will sometimes give off to your eyes but it really it really does get rid of all of your makeup it says dissolves all traces of makeup removes waterproof mascara alcohol alcohol and oil free and I 100% agree with that it, it gets off my their real mascara amazingly and I don't think it's waterproof but it just sticks to my lashes like no other and it never comes off so I really do recommend these if you need a good face wipe that, you know, will get everything off because these really do. And they're very affordable um, and, you know, cheaper than Neutrogena. So you can go that way or you can go Neutrogena way. Um, and then lastly, two more things I want to mention. Uh, to hydrate my lips, I use this EOS Lip Balm in Lemon Drop. Just looks like this one, the yellow one. Love the way that it smells. It smells like lemons. And look at that. I'm like... I'm doing pretty good on it. Before it used to be like a round thing and it's going down, which I'm pretty excited about because these last you forever. Um, so that's what I use for my lips. Um, and it really works that you do it at night and all the time throughout the day. And then again, if you have dry skin, I've talked about these before. Um, these are Forever Young Hydrating Facial Wrap in, in Wild Cherry Plus Collagen, a smoothing and rejuvenating 20 minute facial therapy. It just hydrates your skin really, really well. I also recommend the coconut ones, um, but I'm all out of my coconut ones and I miss them. And I can't really find them anywhere else except online at a few places. So if I can find them online again, I will link it down below for you guys. But if you need help hydrating your skin or anything like that, then definitely try these out or anything that's a hydrating facial wrap because uh, they really, really work. But I really recommend the Forever Young ones. I've never tried any others before and I want to so I'm sure I will be soon because I only have like let's see uh, I only have one of these left so I'm gonna have to be trying out some of the ones that you can get more like at Walmart I don't remember that brand's name but it's like really weird anyways I really recommend these for hydrating uh, and 
Oh, and then also for another thing for hydrating, sorry, I forgot about this, is the Lush Tea Tree Water Popular Toner, just to spray on your face to give your skin a nice refreshing mist, um, and I think it's great for all skin types, personally, but, uh, you know, if you don't like the scent of Tea Tree, then don't try this one, try the Rose Water one, because that is more for calming your skin, and this one is just going to help, this, um, is, oh, it says right here, effective but gentle on oily, spotty, and normal skin, yeah. Um, and you can just spray this onto like a cotton ball and just um, remove dirt away with this as well. And you can just spray it on your skin for like a refreshing thing. So I, I do both. Um, but that's really it for my updated skincare routine. If you want to see my other updated skincare routines, then definitely check it out. I'll link those down below as well as all the products that I can find for you guys online. I hope, because, I hope this was helpful for you, Dinah. Tina99199. What am I saying? Um, thank you so much for requesting again. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up. Share this with your friends. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.